the nacho MLAs go through rigorous quality controls before leaving the factory. However, the handling and transport, the anchoring of the machine to its new location or the daily work itself, may cause the parameters to undergo alterations. Periodic alignment checks of both the headstock and tailstock are necessary to achieve accurate work and a good finish on the workpiece. To check if the headstock alignment is correct, we will use a piece of 250mm long and 70mm in diameter. The objective is to obtain a parallel line of the main spindle axis with respect to the bed guides. Once the part has been machined and with the help of a micrometer, we will check the diameter at both ends of the machine part. If the difference in measurement exceeds that indicated in standard 8606, we should proceed to the alignment of the spindle. To do this, we will access the headstock anchoring bolts to the bed plate, remove the front plates and loosen the two front bolts and the two rear bolts. Using the regulating bolt Bolt. Located at the rear of the headstock, we can correct the detected conicity. With the dial indicator positioned on the piece, we will adjust the rear bolt in one direction or the other, depending on the deviation we wish to correct. In addition, if the deviation is close to the spindle, we must check the roundness of the part so that the deviation is less than 0.01 mm. To finish with the alignment of the spindle, we must check the parallelism of the carriage with respect to the main axis. To do this, first move the carriage with the dial indicator positioned on the workpiece on one side, and then repeat the height measurement. The error should not exceed 0.01 mm. To proceed with the alignment of the tailstock, we will place a 1 meter long bar clamped between dead centers. The dial indicator should be mounted on the carriage and the alignment checked. If the difference exceeds that indicated by standard 8606, the deviation must be corrected. To correct the tailstock irregularity, loosen the four bolts that fasten it to the base, the six upper bolts, and leave the front and rear bolts loosened. In the case of the tail stock, the correction to be applied should be half of the error measured with the dial indicator. To do this, adjust the tail stock alignment bolts according to the desired direction of correction. If we want to move the tail stock towards the protection, we must loosen the bolts at the rear and tighten the bolts closer to us, and vice versa. After the adjustment has been made, we will check again with the dial indicator to verify that the deviation has been rectified. We will repeat the operation as many times as necessary until we get a level of deviation that meets the standard. Once the correct alignment has been checked, we tighten the base, top, front and rear bolts. To finish, it is advisable to check the angular alignment by making a one pass over the workpiece with the tailstock barrel extended. Follow us to learn more about Pinacho Lates. In our blog you will find many more useful contents.